Hi guys, um, hope you don't mind the quality of this clip, it won't be very good, but it's just a very, very quick overview about how to change the memory battery in what's quite a nice um, PC when it's working, uh, which is the 6400B, uh, sorry, 6440B from Hewlett Packard. Uh, as an engineer, what I like about this machine is that you can pull it apart relatively easily and you don't have um, thousands of screws to take out and then lose things and use clips and God knows what else. So it's actually quite cool. Um, I partially stripped this machine down. <clears throat> the machine failed because the fan assembly was really blocked um, with loads and loads of dust. And the pro I don't think the processor, I don't think the processor um, failed, but I wasn't sure. So uh, as it wouldn't boot after I changed the RAM battery, I um, <clears throat> I put another chip in there. Uh, the chip I couldn't verify was working, but I got it from a good supplier in Bangkok. So we had the problem of the um, the chip, possibly. But anyway, I've narrowed it down to the motherboard needs taking out and replacing. So in the process uh, of doing this work, I picked up um, on how fairly straightforward it is to service these machines. I won't show you because I'm holding the camera with one hand, but underneath there are three um, captive screws, which I think you've got to use Torx on. Don't strip them with anything else to the wrong head. You get, get a miniature Torx set. And these hold the keyboard in. The keyboard is got some little clips, uh, little poke, pokey things here, as you can just see them. I'll, I'll, I'll basically point them out with my finger. One, two, three. So the keyboard for extraction, after you release these screws, um, just lifts up. So you'll have to have a bit of fun with it to lift it up. So the keyboard is um, quite amazing really because it has this one has all the Thai characters set on it because we're in Thailand. And underneath um, you have this uh, zero force um, insertion socket and this you don't really need to take the keyboard out if you're just changing the RAM battery okay so you have two little lifters here you lift them up and you can pull out the um, printed cable uh, okay so after removing the keyboard it's a fairly easy process to simply remove the old battery very carefully lift it up throw it away and pop a new one in and that will give it give it another leash of life I guess um, now as I say this machine is um, <clears throat> sadly dead and I think it's beyond economic repair um, I want to point out how to change the CPU here we have the main heat sink with the copper heat path what sort of heat pipe going up to the fan assembly there's a very small radiator in there with very very narrow slots lots of them and the fan sucks in from about six individual places on the machine and directs the output through this radiator and out. Now, I found a lot of machines in Thailand have failed because people just don't seem to understand the need to clean out the fan. And I use uh, quite a powerful uh, vacuum cleaner. I've got it kind of, I'll show you, it's kind of over here. Sorry about the mess. It's my room. Um... I got this baby and why I like this thing is because it's got a sucking port and a blowing port actually the lid's on the wrong way around so you get a face full of air coming out but this blowing port you can use to to basically um, blow stuff <clears throat> out in one direction don't blow it into the machine of course so use a high use, use a high quality baby baby vacuum cleaner and <clears throat> get the get the dust out. I went a stage further and I cleaned the fan with isopropyl alcohol, took it all out. So let's discuss the ease of which it is to take out the processor chip, which is hiding under here. There are several other chips that have got heatsink on them. Get get your um, cooler master ready to put back the thermal grease. Don't try and reuse it. That's that's fatal. So you have a sequence of four four um, screws, which un obviously undo, and put them in this sequence, one, two, three, four. 
And when you tighten them up, just pretend it's something that you're doing on an engine and just do the same sequence and do them gently. So in order to get this whole assembly out and remove the, the thing, there's this um, there's a strip at the front which has got the touch sensitive, there are, there's a strip at the front that's got the touch sensitive um, controls on it. So the next thing is to basically go underneath the um, PC and take out the relevant screws. Now I should point out that all of this is in a very, very good manual that's on the HP website. So you look up service manual for the 6440B and all the variants, download the manual and in various sections it'll show you how to take each stage process bit by bit. So it recommends take the keyboard out, which is great, easy to put back, um, and you won't damage the cable by, by, by just sort of moving it around too much. So don't be scared, take the cable out and learn how to reinsert the um, flexible cable back into the ZIF sockets. And there's another little baby ZIF socket as well here. And the two tabs on the side you lift up and you slide out the ZIF cable. ZIF means zero insertion force. So there's no poking and tweaking and soldering and generally messing it up. Just lift up the two little tabs and that's it. Remove the cable. So here's a machine partially reassembled with the new CPU in it and it didn't boot. So when you've taken this out and removed it, you could then get at the fan assembly. There's another, I think there's another couple of screws in there that hold the fan in. Anyway, just read the manual, RFM. <laughs> um, take out the fan, take out the heat pipe, clean everything, make sure there's no dust left in the system, and then reverse order everything back. Pop, pop this back in and make that nice. Put the ZIF in for the keyboard, and obviously if you're changing it to a different, you know, you've got a good machine and you've got a, a keyboard from another machine because you want to have a foreign language set on it. So that's cool as well. So you can just put this in, pop it in, did, 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 and there you have it. Unfortunately, even though the screen's in good condition, this machine has been cooked to death. Um, the kind of gunge that came out of the fan, I don't know, I actually got an example of it here. Ah, yeah. I, I actually couldn't, even with the vacuum cleaner, this was left inside. This this is like yuck. You know, I, I mean, I think it was moving when I took it out. There was something living in it. So it's so bad. It's got cat hair in it. And, you know, people have used these things on the bed and they've overheated them and all this kind of crap. Um, just to actually emphasize the point, I've got um, the older po processor in here in... It's not an anti-static box, but <clears throat> I was quite careful to get, reduce the static. I'm sending it back to my friend who's going to be very upset because now he's got a broken PC that's really broken with um, a couple of chips in it. So that, that's the processor in there. I don't, it's a, I don't know what it is, P2, P3, I don't know. Anyway, anyway you know, you can find out. Um, so that's it. So that's it generally. Uh, very easy to service, very nicely made machine. Um, I would say with a machine like that, you could um, run Linux on it or have a dual boot or something like that and get some Windows 8.1 or something off uh, eBay <clears throat> and run it. And I think it would probably do the kind of work that I like, which, which is radio, amateur radio and electronics. And um, I'll just gently pop this over. And one of the good things about the, the thing is that the screws that hold the keyboard in if you look very carefully with a pair of glasses, if you're as old as me, um, you'll need them. Um, there's little legends on every screw that tell you what it's for, basically. So, so that's cool. So I hope this is of some assistance to you guys. Um, this is a nice machine. You know, it's a, it's a great shame to see it fucked. Um, excuse my French. And, uh, you know, um, it's, I rate it over this Dell that I'm uh, just repairing at the moment that I've had for many years. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to send this back to my friend, um, who I'm, God knows what he'll do with it. I mean, if you can get a motherboard off a, one of these guys in Bangkok, uh, they've got thousands and thousands of CPUs. They just, they just take everything apart and put it in a box. So I'm not sure, sure whether the boards are damaged by them doing it, but, um, you know, have fun. Plenty of, plenty of, um, plenty of things to do. Keep, keep old equipment running. I always say it's a good thing. And... Come visit Thailand if you're around. 
So you can contact me via here. Okay, bye.